Welcome back to episode four of our drag bike body series. In part one, we left off by tacking the rear section of the bike together, so that's where we're gonna continue. Okay, so now that we have the tail section cut and tacked together, uh, we need to take the buck off of the bike because now that this is all one piece, it will not fit over the buck. So we're gonna take the buck off, we're gonna fit this on the bike, and uh, then we'll start working forward towards the tank area. Okay, so we have the new skin for the body placed on here without the buck. And what we're gonna be doing next is uh, we're gonna kind of clean up some edges here on the tank. Uh, and the reason we're gonna do that is that the next step, uh, once we're done with that, is going to be to connect the seat pan area to the tank. And then we're gonna be trimming these sides down and we're gonna be using the buck to make a template uh, that will give us this shape right here uh, so we can trim up the edges on the tank piece to make this a real nice crisp line and then after that we'll start making the new panel for the sides so we're going to go ahead and keep working on the tank uh, to get some of these parts uh, and edges a little bit uh, fine-tuned and cleaned up that way we can move on to the side areas of the of the tank so Okay, so I've got a basic template uh, trimmed out and I left it long. So I've got extra material uh, on most of my sides here. So um, I basically did that just to get the template closer, get a lot of the excess material off of the template. Again, I'm using just a regular uh, poster board uh, that you can buy pretty much any office supply store. Um, it's kind of my favorite template material based on just the weight of it. Uh, it holds its shape pretty well, but it's still flexible enough to be able to lay into, you know, some reverse curve areas and things like that. Uh, and it's easy to cut with a pair of scissors. So, um, yeah, so I've got this, you know, really basically uh, on here as far as the shape. So what I'm going to do now is tape it. I'm going to get it kind of taped and then I'll mark from the back side. So we have this wire right here, it creates a nice arc. So that wire is gonna actually be where we trim the edge of our upper tank piece to get this really nice curve and shape on that piece. And then we'll get this trimmed uh, really close to that as well from the other side. And so what that's gonna do is when we go to actually make our panel, We'll lay this on our sheet metal for this piece here. Uh, we'll get that shape marked out on there and then we'll leave ourselves some excess so we can actually uh, tip that line uh, into this piece and you know tip that line over the edge and we'll actually weld the 
side piece to the tank piece, uh, not on the corner. We'll weld it actually about an inch or so in from the corner on the top side. We'll cut the tank, the top of the tank area, tank, cut that material away and then join it with a butt weld seam uh, and weld it across the top here. So um, just a little explanation of our template making. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep uh, working on this template. We'll get it dialed in. We'll get the tank upper section trimmed to meet this here. And then we'll start shaping our side panel. So. All right, we have the template uh, taped in place. This is our initial fit up. So it's you know a little rough in some spots, but uh, this will give us the basic idea of what we're shooting for. And uh, you know, we trimmed up this radius here based off of the buck. And you know, what we're gonna be doing next is gonna be working on trying to get this shape into the skin of the upper tank area. And then uh, you notice I made some cuts in the paper that was to get this to lay on the buck uh, and lay in this area, which has a little bit of a reverse curve. Um, you know, it's concave this way, and as it as it you know moves into this area, it actually starts to go a little bit convex. So uh, it's radius out uh, this way. So. This is gonna be a fairly complicated piece to make um, based on the fact that we're going reverse and then it's gonna lay on here and then go concave that way. So uh, we're gonna keep trimming this area, really start to get you know the, the template to uh, fit the tank, the upper tank area here to where we have a really nice radius on the metal side. And then once this all fits together, that's when we will you know, finalize all these lines here. We'll trim the the seat pan here that you know drops over the edge. We'll trim this where we want it, where we want these two to meet together, and then we'll start to actually making this piece uh, out of metal. So we're going to keep trimming. Once this is trimmed to the radius we want here, we're actually right here along the front edge of the tank on both sides. We're actually going to put a break. Uh, we're going to put this in the sheet metal brake and bend this to where this actually has a, a flange that goes in underneath the edge of the tank. So that's going to solidify the edge and it's going to give us a really nice clean line uh, to finish that off with. So um, we'll have that and then, you know, this will be here. And then probably what we're going to do is once this is all fit on here like we want, uh, you know, we'll see. We might add a little flange uh, before we trim this final line down here. We might bead roll and tip a flange over uh, to give us just a nice solid edge down here once this is out of metal. So we're going to keep working and uh, we'll show you guys kind of what it takes to start joining a whole body together.
All right, so we left off by trimming the final shape into the upper tank section. And I also was able to install these panel grippers uh, between the seat pan and the tank area to be able to remove the upper tank area and be able to put it back exactly where it's supposed to be. Uh, so now that we have that done, we're going to add a break on each edge of the front section of the tank to make this edge uh, more solid and add a nice crisp line on there. And then after that, we'll go ahead and start making the new side panels for the tank. I traced the template onto the aluminum and uh, we sheared the piece in half. Now we're going to continue shearing these pieces out. Uh, we'll get both of them cut out and then we'll work on shaping both of them at the same time. Uh, you know, whatever we do to one side, we'll do to the other. So let's get these cut out and we'll keep working. All right, we'll trim the new side panels out for the bike body. And basically what I'm gonna do from here on out uh, is to continue to shape these and fit them to the bike itself. Um, and I'm just gonna keep working. And then as I'm working, I will talk you through uh, the steps of what I'm doing uh, with each part. So we're gonna go ahead and start shaping these to the bike. And like I said, we'll, uh, as I'm working, we'll talk you through the, the processes on what's going on, so. All right, sometimes when you're starting to shape a panel, the easiest way uh, to start to bring some shape in is to do a little bit of hand forming. Uh, you see me bending it over my leg. Uh, I use a stake, a hammer stake, or even the table edge to uh, bend the piece and create some of the initial shape that we're wanting to find uh, in our new side panels.
And I've decided now that I have the side panels at least initially fit up to the tank, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, attach the seat pan area to the front tank area. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cut those together, uh, butt weld them, and uh, get that metal finished out to where we have a nice solid piece uh, together. And then we'll continue shaping the side panels. So I decided to use a cutoff wheel for this step, uh, just based on the amount of material I had to cut off. It was going to be a lot easier to do with a cutoff wheel uh, instead of uh, tin snips. Uh, and then I'm cleaning up the edge, uh, kind of roughing it in a little tighter with the disc sander. Uh, and then I'll grab a file to finalize those edges uh, and get them tuned up and ready to go for uh, joining the seat pan to the tank skin. So if you remember, I had drilled uh, previously and put the panel grippers in place on the seat pan to the skin and I put them right on the edge. That way when I cut that line, I was still able to use the grippers to overlap the seam and hold those two pieces together uh, prior to welding. And as I get these two pieces tacked together, um, part of what uh, I'll be going over in episode five is going to be the actual welding and metal finishing process uh, between uh, two panels. So uh, for this part, I'm just going to get it welded, get it metal finished out. Uh, I won't go in depth on what that process is until episode five, so stay tuned for that. So here I'm getting the weld uh, sanded down on both sides of the panel. Uh, I'll be hammering on it uh, to get it nice and smooth and then uh, once I get it uh, most of the way there uh, we'll go ahead and jump back into the shaping of the side panels uh, with this new one piece tank and seat area back on the bike.
Okay, so what I've done here uh, on both of these panels uh, to get this nice subtle curve that I have, um, I actually used a linear stretching die in the planishing hammer. And basically what this is doing is it's mainly stretching the material in two directions. So it's stretching it uh, to get the curve this way, but not put a curve in it this way. Uh, so I used that die and went around the edge of the panel to create this nice sweeping curve around here, which pretty much closely matches the shape of the tank on the motorcycle. So um, what we're going to be doing now is to, uh, there's a little bit of oil on it from the hammer, but we're going to wipe this off. We'll kind of look over the curves here and make sure this is all looks nice and smooth. Uh, and then from there we'll continue to fit this panel close to the bike and once we get it to where this panel sits on the side we're going to end up uh, i left a little bit of extra material around here you can see a line uh, where i drew the template so we're going to end up tipping this flange over to create a nice clean break line that will then uh, end up cutting the flange uh, into the upper tank section and butt welding that seam there so um, we're going to keep fitting this and uh, hopefully we can get it on there pretty quickly. All right, so as I start to tip the edge on the bead roller, uh, I'm gonna run it you know, back and forth in the bead roller a little bit, and then we go over to the shrinker stretcher to uh, make sure that the panel is maintaining the shape that we had put in it uh, prior to fit the tank side. So like I said, we bead roll, go back to the shrinker stretcher, go back to the bead roller until that flange is tipped over uh, to the angle that we need it to fit the tank. Again, everything that we were doing to this one panel, uh, we do to the other side at the same time. So even though uh, it might look like we're just doing the one panel, uh, we are doing both together and that allows us to keep both panels uh, as similar as possible uh, in their processes uh, as they're getting fit to the bike to make sure that they're as close to matching side to side as possible. At this point, we've been planning to put more shape into the side of the panels uh, just to bring some more curvature uh, all the way through now that the top flange is tipped over and uh, we're just fine tuning the shape before we're ready to attach it to the bike.
The last step here is going to be uh, to put some shape into the bottom lower section of that panel uh, to get it to fit the bottom area of the, of the uh, frame there and then uh, at that point we'll be ready to start attaching it. All right, so um, pretty much have this side dialed in. Uh, we've added this reverse curve shape in here, so it actually, it's a little bit uh, convex this way. Uh, so it's, it's stretched all around here first uh, before we tip this edge over. Uh, and it's also stretched a little bit through here. So it has a convex shape uh, both directions this way a little bit and uh, you know, and then it transitions into the seat pan area, uh, which we left pretty flat, kind of right in this triangle shape here is pretty flat to meet up with this. Uh, and then we did the old rubber band trick on the English wheel to just wheel the radius, kind of a radius break in here to get this little bit of a curve here to where this right here lays flat on the frame rail of the bike. So uh, this is all looking pretty good. Um, what we're going to do now is actually drill some holes and get these pieces all attached together uh, and then we can do any final fit at that point before we cut it and tack it all together. Well, this is gonna be the end of episode four, and I hope you guys have picked up on some techniques for metal shaping. I also hope you've enjoyed seeing this body come together. And in episode five, we're gonna be showing you guys some welding and metal finishing techniques. So stay tuned for episode five coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to check out all the other videos in this series, and we'll see you soon.